Humanity has been looking to the heavens for as long as we have existed. Ancient people observed the night sky and based much of their way of life around the movement of the stars. When Galileo discovered the first telescope in the early 17th century, it opened our eyes to see what no other humans have ever witnessed before. But the further we look into space, the more questions we come away with. You're watching Matter, and here are 10 space photos that still mesmerize astronomers today. It can be hard to imagine the scale of the events happening out in the cosmos. Take this image that shows the collision of two galaxies, NGC 2207 and IC 213. Over 8 million light years away, these two galaxies are colliding and locked in a gravitational battle within the constellation of Canis Major. As these two different types of spiral galaxies smash into each other, their stars and matter will be violently thrown around over the next billion years. As they slowly merge into a singular galaxy, stars from either galaxy will be ejected into space or destroyed as everything moves around until it comes to a halt. We all know gravity as a force that keeps us firmly planted on the ground, but it also plays a major role in the universe as a whole. This image taken by Hubble shows what happens when light meets a tremendous amount of gravitational force. The Hubble smile, as it is called, is made up of light bend into a smile as a direct result of the massive gravitational pull of a galaxy cluster. As light travels and comes close to a large enough source of gravitational force, a phenomenon called gravitational lensing occurs in which gravity warps the fabric of space-time. The outer circle enclosing the face is called an Einstein ring and is due to the more distant light being distorted into arcs and circles. It's amazing how a simple gravitational phenomenon can result in a smiling face out in deep space. This eerie photo of a phantom hand is really a nebula inhabited by a pulsar about 17,000 light years away from Earth. Dubbed B-1509, this pulsar is very young, powerful and is only 12 miles in diameter, while the nebula that it feeds spans 150 light years. A pulsar is an incredibly dense object known as a neutron star that is also spinning incredibly quickly. This pulsar completes seven rotations every single second. Both pulsars and nebulae are born when the star runs out of fuel and collapses in on itself while expelling the outer layers of its mass out into space in a supernova. Astronomers have calculated the age of this neutron star to be about 1700 years old. Before the days of the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers had no idea what was waiting for them out in the deep voids of space. In 1995, an astronomer reserved the Hubble telescope for 10 days and directed its focus at a tiny square in the sky near the Big Dipper that was almost entirely dark and empty. Hubble took in the light from that distant part of the universe over those 10 days and compiled them into this image now known as the Hubble Deep Field. What astronomers thought was an empty corner of space turned out to be filled with thousands of galaxies that had yet to be seen. This image is also a snapshot into the universe's past. Light from these distant galaxies takes millions if not billions of years to reach us on Earth, so we are really seeing the universe at a point much earlier in its life. Nebulae can form in many different shapes and orientations. This particular nebula captured in this image is known as the Bubble Nebula, which is fitting given there is a central star that appears to be trapped in a massive cosmic bubble. This nebula sits over 7,100 light years away from us on Earth, in the constellation of Cassiopeia. Astronomers believe that the Bubble Nebula was formed nearly 4 million years ago after a massive star blew up in a supernova, spewing its material out into the cosmos. The star burning in its center produces stellar winds that fly outwards at 4 million miles an hour. This has led to the nebulae material being pushed out forming the massive bubble that we see. When astronomers look towards the center of the Milky Way, the view is obscured by massive clouds of dust known as nebulae. But by using the infrared light to capture images instead of visible light, they were able to see through the dense gas of the Trifon Nebula, sitting near the center of our galaxy 3,700 light years away. For the first time, astronomers were able to see this dazzling star field that sits on the other side of our galaxy. This star field contains tens of thousands of stars that all vary in size, temperature, and age. Some areas of our universe may seem empty, but other places are full of light. When we look out into the night sky, we primarily see objects that are circular or spherical. In fact, the majority of objects that scientists have found in space throughout our universe are round. 
Stars, planets, as well as most asteroids have a generally round shape. But it turns out that this is not written in the laws of the universe. Astronomers found this nebula in the year 1973 when its unusual shape caught their eye. This nebula sits roughly 2,300 light years away in the Monoceros constellation. The gas that is being emitted by the now named Red Rectangle Nebula are shot out in a rare rectangular shape while its red color is due to the particular elements that make up its gas. What gives this nebula its unique shape? And are there more of them in our universe? Our sun's surface is burning, turbulent and sometimes explosive. Its surface seems to be constantly changing with active regions and inactive regions. These holes in the sun may look like a window into the void that makes up the interior of the sun, but they are really just coronal holes which are regions that appear black with UV or X-ray images. These regions are relatively cool, just above 1 million degrees, and they mark the areas where the sun's magnetic field is open and extends out into space. These regions of open magnetic field lines allow solar winds to fly out extremely quickly. Let's hope none of these open fields point towards us. Scientists were able to get a glimpse of an event that had only been theorized until about 2015. The collision of two black holes colliding into each other. The Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, was built with the goal of detecting gravitational waves. After waiting some time, the LIGO detectors were able to pick up powerful gravitational waves that were produced when two black holes merged into one. With the help of modern supercomputers and the massive amounts of data that LIGO and others collected about this merger, the SXS project was able to create this incredible image of two black holes in the process of becoming one. Photographed in Zurich, Switzerland, when the photographer thought he was taking a picture of SpaceX's new Endeavour capsule returning to Earth on the night of November 8th. But the timing just does not line up with that story. This photo was supposedly taken at night in Switzerland while the capsule was not recorded to have splashed down to the ocean until 10.30 that night over 5,000 miles from Zurich in the Gulf of Mexico. This means that this photographer was not capturing a picture of SpaceX's capsule. So what did they capture that night? There are plenty of theories as to what this image is of, and they range from totally ordinary to out of this world. Some astronomers claim that this picture is nothing more than a garbled image of distant stars. Others say it is just an image of a bright star that is out of focus. But what if it was something different? Perhaps it is the donut-shaped UFO that was visiting from beyond our solar system. Space will continue to inspire humans to explore and learn as much as we can about the wonders that are out there. The breathtaking images that come out of space exploration help aid the continued strive to know more about the universe we live in. Is there any photo from space that inspires you? If you watched all the way to the end, we want to say thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss out on any of our future videos.